Let's go pre-call kids. Today we're looking at 4.28 trig functions of a cute, cute little angles. Okay. Alright, this is not noteworthy, but think about angle theta. Theta is what we're going to use a lot for that. It is in standard position if one ray is along the positive x-axis and the other extending the first quadrant. Remember this is your quadrant one. If it's in here, it's in standard position. Keep that in mind. See this right here, guys? This is a big NW. We're going to spend time on these. They're important. We're going to do a lot with them. Okay? Let's see if you remember them. What this is, is all right triangles are similar. If you remember in geometry, similar means the same angles but different sizes. They're similar to each other. They're like the same thing, but not. Okay? So, what you can do is if you have an angle, one of the angles, well, that's a right angle, so you know the other one, because you can do 180 minus those. So, all of them will be similar, and all the ratio sides will be the same. Okay? Why this is important is because we can find missing information about larger triangles based on what we can find out. We can use this information, and we will do this. Just remind me to do it. Bug me about it. We'll go aside and measure flagpole based on right triangle by this trigonometry. I really enjoy this stuff. You guys think I'm nuts. So we're looking at this triangle. We're looking at angle theta. <clears throat> that means the sine of theta is your opposite over hypotenuse. And I'm always just going to use layers. We kind of touched on this in geometry. Okay. The cosine is ah adjacent right hypotenuse. Tangent is oh. Uh. So those ones you've seen before. These ones you have not. Cosecant is h of rho. It's like what Santa says. I'm only give you something else is equal to. Cosecant is 1 over sine. Okay. Which makes sense because the sine's opposite or hypotenuse. In cosecant's hypotenuse are opposite, then it's 1 over sine. Secant then is going to be ha! That's 1 over cosine. Be careful, guys. Notice that these don't match up. Like, Cosecant match up with sine. Not sine and secant. Sine and secant do not match up. And cotangent, well, that's AO. It's 1 over tan. Okay? Keep this stuff in mind. You guys want to hear a story? I know you do. Many years ago, there's an India, Indian princess named Soka Pontus. And she lived in a faraway land. And then one day she decided to take a walk through the woods. Okay. And while she was walking, she stubbed her toe. And it hurt. And she cried. And it hurt. And she cried. And she couldn't take it anymore. So one day she goes to the witch doctor. Who surprisingly looks like Snoop Dogg. And she goes... Witch doctor, how can I fix this? My toe hurts so bad. And the witch doctor says, So ka toa. So ka toa. Right? Hopefully the story was enlightening for you guys. Okay. That's obviously a mnemonic device to help remember sine, cosine, tangent. So, ka, toa. Or some people do, Oscar had a heavy old anvil. Okay. So, we're going to find all six trigonometric functions for a angle of 60 degrees. Okay. So right up here, 60 degrees, right? 
If that's 60, what's this angle? That's right, it's 30. Okay. I'm even going to start you off with a little bit of hint. Uh, this is, say this is 2, this is 4, this is 2, or root 2. Okay. So now, this is the angle I'm looking at, right? So if I were to label things, my hypotenuse is always the longest side, the side opposite that 90 degree angle, okay? The opposite is the one that's not touching it, okay? It's on the opposite end, not touching it. And adjacent is the side that's touching it and is not hypotenuse, okay? So let's find these trig functions. So sine of 60. Well, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Our opposite's 2 root 2. Hypotenuse is 4. So if I were to rewrite this, No one fixed it. That's supposed to be three root three, guys. My bad. I'll fix it right now. Okay. So my sign is going to be root three over two. Cosine of sixty. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay. My adjacent is two. My hypotenuse is 4, so it's 1 half. Tangent of 60. That's opposite over adjacent, so it's 2 root 3 over 2, so it's just square root of 3. Okay? Now, my cosecant. Now remember, cosecant is the opposite of sine. So my cosecant, I know right now, is going to be 2 over root 3. Because it's the opposite of sine. Not the opposite, but the reciprocal of sine. So that means what's secant of 60? Well, it's the reciprocal of cosine, so it's going to be 2. And what's my cotangent? Well, it's reciprocal, so it's 1 over root 3. Okay? And if you need to rationalize these for yourself, we can do that. So this would actually be 2 root 3 over 3. And this one would actually be root 3 over 3. Okay? Phew! <clears throat> Alright, let's do one more problem and we'll call it a day. Okay. There's an acute angle theta. Sine of theta is 4 over 5. Find the other 5 trig functions. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So if this is my angle, the side opposite of that is this one right here, right? That's opposite. It's not touching it, it's across from it. So that is 4. That's my opposite. Okay. Now, in this right triangle, we're going to have to have a right angle, right? Right. So now, my hypotenuse, right here, is the longest side that's opposite 
your right angle. And also my hypotenuse is 5. Now how do I find, so that leaves the adjacent. The adjacent is this guy down here. Touching the angle and not hypotenuse. How do I find the adjacent? I can't use adjacent squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. Yes, I can. A squared plus 16 equals 25. A squared equals 9. So A is 3. That's all there is to it. So 3 is my A. Okay. Guys, like it. I'm not going to put noteworthy on example anymore. If that was noteworthy, this is noteworthy. Okay. Uh, write this down quickly so I can erase it. Oh, computer. Where's the cell phone? I think I have a cell phone around here, actually. Okay. So let's find cosine. So cosine of theta is. Well, it's going to be my adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's going to be 3 over 5. Tan of theta. Well, that's opposite over adjacent. So that is 4 over 3. Okay. Cosecant. Guys, cosecant, opposite sign. So it's five fourths, not opposite, but reciprocal. Secant, inverse of cosine. So it's five thirds. Cotangent, reciprocal of tan. Three fourths. That's all there is to it, guys. So, um, one more slide. No more examples, but here's what I want you to think about. Write these down. Noteworthy. This probably will check for for you guys. Points. When you're using your calculator, make sure it's in the wrong angle mode. It's probably one of the number one things I see go wrong. Okay. Use the inverse keys to evaluate cotangent secant and cosecant. The inverse. And I'm going to show you guys this tomorrow. I just want you to write it down now. Uh, if you use some, that shorthand, secant, cotangent, cosine, some calculators will go, blah, garbage, garbage, garbage. And make sure to close your parentheses, guys. I cannot stress this enough. Okay? And what they mean by this. is using the inverse trig keys. I'll show I'll show you. I'll show you what this stuff means, okay? So that's where we're gonna end.